Tamron just released a new version of the Lens Utility, and we're gonna take a look at the new features and see how we can use them for our filmmaking. Let's go. To show you the new version of the Tamron Lens Utility, we set up this miniature scene in the studio. To film it, we're using the new Tamron 90mm f2.8 lens on the camera, which is perfect for close-up subjects due to its short, minimum focusing distance. To use it, we first need to connect our Android smartphone to the lens using an OTG USB-C cable. Next, we launch the app and from there we can control the lens. In the DFF tab, we can find the new feature. Here, not only can we manually focus as before, but we can also use focus markers to precisely focus on different subjects. To do this, we click on the ABC button, which opens a small submenu. Now we can manually focus on the first subject using the digital follow focus in the app. Once the focus is set, we press and hold the C button to save the first focus marker. We repeat this for another subject, in this case, the small huts in the image. I focus manually and then press and hold the B button. I repeat this process for the last subject, which is the house in the foreground, and save it with the A button. And then we start recording. Now when we press C, the focus immediately jumps to the subject in the back. If we press B, the focus shifts to the middle subject. And when we press A, it jumps forward to the house. The focus transitions are still very fast and abrupt at this point. It looks much nicer when we define a transition time for the focus shifts. In this case, I choose one and a half seconds for all three subjects. And this is what it looks like. A lot smoother and much more pleasing to the eye. To add even more dynamics, we can also use the ease function. This ensures that the focus transition starts with a smooth acceleration and decelerates before reaching the next subject. We can decide how strong this effect should be. I'm choosing level two for all subjects here. Now when we let the focus shift from one subject to another, we can see how the focus no longer shifts linearly, but changes with a dynamic speed. 